My name is Grant Kramer, and I am a professor emeritus at the University of Nevada, Reno. If you like my Nevada Viticulture and Wine YouTube channel, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel so that you can get more videos like the one today. Today, we will be continuing my series on grape varieties. In this case, we will be talking about Cabernet Franc. Cabernet Franc is a grape that produces red wines. It has a blue-black color to the grape berries, and it comes from southern part of France. So it's, it's an ancient variety that's thought to come from somewhere in the southwest of France or in the Basque country along the border of Spain and France. The parents are unknown, but it is genetically related to other varieties that are found in the Basque region. It is one of the parents of Cabernet Sauvignon, giving rise to a number of other varieties as well by being one of the parents. It has many synonyms, as most grape varieties do, including Acheria, Bidur, Boucher, Boucher Franc, Breton, Bidur. The most popular location is in France, in the Loire Valley up in the more northern regions, as well as in the Bordeaux regions of France. But it's also grown in Italy, in Brazil, in China, and in the USA. Cabernet Franc likes cool to warm climate regions. It does well in both of those. It's one of the more cold hardy Vitus vinifera varieties doing quite well in the Northeast and New York and other areas. And it's done well in Nevada as well. The best production for Cabernet Franc would come from warm days and cool nights. It has moderate to high vigor the leaves are having five lobes with moderate sinuses and tooth margins. And the U-shaped petiolar sinus has overlapping leaves as seen in this photo here. The clusters are moderately compact, medium in size, and sometimes winged. The berries are blue-black and small and round with thin skins, or at least thinner skins than Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a moderately productive variety. It likes well-drained soils as most grapevines do. It does well on clay limestone soils. It's grown usually in a vertical shoot positioning system, but it can also be head trained. It has a mid bud break in the spring and a mid ripening in the fall. It's earlier than Cabernet Sauvignon, either in bud break or in ripening. At our Valley Road field experiment station, we found over about 20 years that the grapes would break bud around the beginning of May, depending on the season. Sometimes it was a week into May, depending on what the weather was that year. Our harvest times were in the dates of about September 21st to October 7th. So from up until the first week of October. So approximately 150 days growing season, usually well before any frost. The bricks would therefore be anywhere between 22 to 25 degrees bricks. And the TA ranges, again, depending on the year, could be anything from 4.5 to 7, depending on the heat of the year. So 4.5 you would get in a warmer season, very warm season, and 7 would be a more normal type of acidity that we would get, or six, six and a half. As I mentioned, it's fairly cold hardy. It was one of the best varieties for cold hardiness, certainly one of the best red varieties for cold hardiness in our experimental vineyard of 13 varieties. One interesting fact that we learned was that it was fast to go into dormancy. This allowed it to be more cold hardy when we had a very cold early sub-zero freezing temperatures in the beginning of December. And it was one of the few varieties that survived that. And that was a result of it going into dormancy much more quickly. But it also comes out of dormancy more quickly than some of the other varieties 
And therefore, if there was a very strong cold spell in, say, late March or something like that, it might be more easily damaged than some of the other varieties. We didn't actually experience that in general, although Merlot tended to do a little bit better in the spring than did the Cabernet Franc. One very unusual thing specific to Cabernet Franc and none of our other varieties was there were two seasons in which in the spring we had very unusual flowering going on on the vines. And it was not just one vine, it was all the vines, where we would have early bud break and flowering on some of the buds, and then there would be a week or two later another set of buds and flowers coming out that would create a large variability in the ripening of the fruit on those vines in those years. And as a result, they never did catch up it in the fall. And so we had a quite a mixed variety of grapes in the fall for harvest time. Wine characteristics of Cabernet Franc is that it tends to produce a softer, lighter wine than Cabernet Sauvignon. It's the main red grape that's grown in the Loire Valley. And it's one of the major grapes in Bordeaux with Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. It is a bit more herbaceous in character than Cabernet Sauvignon. It produces methoxypyrazines, which give you the bell pepper aromas and flavors that you might taste in the wines. And this is particularly accentuated in the grapes if they are harvested early at lower bricks and or if they are grown in a cooler climate. Some of the fruit flavor descriptions of the wines are raspberry, strawberry, cassis, violets, tobacco, bell pepper, and even pepper. Now, again, not all of these characteristics come out in a specific wine. It may vary with the grapes and the climate that you're growing them in. It was responsive to moderate water deficits, producing more fruity aromas and color and tannins in the wines and less bell pepper characteristics. So moderate water deficit was beneficial to the quality of the wine. The wines are usually blended, as I mentioned, with Cabernet Sauvignon or Merlot to soften the wine, particularly that of Cabernet Sauvignon, as Merlot is already a soft wine, and to add some additional aromatics to the wine that are maybe missing in, say, the Cabernet Sauvignon. There are about 20 registered clone selections in California, and you can find those at the Foundation Plant Services website. And clonal variation does exist in Cabernet Franc, shown here in this publication from 2013 by Van Leeuwen et al., in which they show that there was clonal variation in the French clones that they were using for berry size, yield, tannins, and anthocyanins, which are the color components of the wine. So in summary, Cabernet Franc produces high quality grapes and makes good wines in northern Nevada. And for that reason, it's one of the great red grape varieties that I highly recommend alongside of Merlot. And they happen to make a very good blend as evidenced by the right bank of Bordeaux, where in the saint emilion region, some of the best wines are made in the world, such as Cheval Blanc, which is a mixture of about 50% Cabernet Franc and a mixture of Merlot. Its mid-season ripening allows it to avoid frosts in the fall in northern Nevada, so that's a good thing. And its fast induction of dormancy makes it less susceptible to early harsh winters. And it has more fruit flavor, color, and tannins with moderate drought. Well, that's it. If you like this video, then please like it so that others will have an opportunity to see it. Have a great day.